Day 32, St. Pope John Paul II. Three words summarize what we learned from St. Pope John Paul II. One, mother. Two, entrust a creation. And three, mercy. Let's ponder each one in turn. Mother. John Paul's teaching on marrying consecration not only carries with it his authority as Pope, but also the authoritative weight of an ecumenical council because he repeats and deepens Vatican II's teaching on Mary. Therefore, his teaching actually constitutes the mind and heart of the church today, and we should pay particular attention to it. So what is the mind and heart of the church telling us about Mary? It's pointing to, the mater to Mary's maternal mediation. It's saying she's our mother in the order of grace. It's proclaiming the good news that God has given us a spiritual mother who prayerfully lovingly attends to our growth in grace and holiness. This new motherhood of Mary is the life of the church, and the life of each one of us is the constant, consoling, beautiful background to everything we've said about Marian consecration, or what John Paul often calls entrustment, entrustecration. Seeing Mary standing at the foot of the cross next to his beloved disciple, John, Jesus said, Woman, behold your son. And then to John, behold your mother. These words summarize what we already covered in the last point, that Mary is our spiritual mother. But then we read in the next verse, Then the disciple took her into his home. Here is the heart of our response to Jesus, entrusting us to Mary as our mother. We are, then, we are to then entrust ourselves to her by taking her, into our homes. In other words, we're to take her into our inner life and to all that concerns us. We are to let her into our joys and sorrows, hopes and fears, plans and activities. When we let Mary into our lives, we entrust ourselves to our care. She intercedes for us, consoles us, and gives us courage and strength to unite ourselves more fully to Jesus' own consecration of himself for the life of the world. In other words, she brings us to the cross of Jesus, which is the final meaning of Jesus' self-consecration, and she inspires us to spend ourselves for the salvation of the world, to take up our part in the work of redemption. As we take up our cross, as we live within Christ's own consecration, we may become spiritually thirsty, desolate, and tired. That's when Mary carries us to the pierced side of Christ, the fountain of mercy, where we find a ceaseless source of strength and holiness. Thus, to John Paul's mind, entrustment to Mary leads to our consecration to Christ. In other words, one might say it's a movement of entrustecration. Mercy. Ultimately, Marian consecration leads us to divine mercy. Acts of consecration to the Immaculate Heart of Mary lead to acts of trust in the merciful heart of Jesus. We see this in the story of Fatima and Pope John Paul, and especially in the Pope's homily during his pilgrimage to Fatima in 1982, a pilgrimage of thanksgiving to the mercy of God and the mother of Christ for having saved his life. In that homily, John Paul repeatedly pointed out how Marian consecration leads us to the pierced heart of Jesus, the fountain of mercy. This connection is part of the will of Jesus himself who said to Sister Lucia in 1936 that he wills the consecration to Mary's heart because I want my whole church to acknowledge that consecration that my mother requested at Fatima as a triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary so that it may extend its veneration later on and put the devotion to this Immaculate Heart beside the devotion to my Sacred Heart. Jesus wants to extend veneration and devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary because she leads us most perfectly to him and helps us to receive the infinite mercy of his heart. Today's prayer. Spend the day pondering John Paul's Marian teaching as it is summarized by three, these three words, mother, entrustecration, and mercy.